Sorry, I am having trouble connecting to the network. This is my iPod 4G. I'm not pretty sure if you can see that. But I just got a Siri device assistant by Apple. And Sorry, you can get it too by following this video tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how to install H1 Siri by the CD team and installing it manually via iFile. Right, so first of all, if you want to install Siri manually, if the repos aren't working for you, you need to install it manually via iFile, the most easiest way to install it. So, the first thing, you need to get the .deb file. So go ahead to the description and open this Mediafire link in the description, from the description, and download this file. It's, this file is about one, uh, 110 megabytes. It won't take that long to download. It only took me five minutes to download it, this file. And once you download this, this file, it should be in your desktop uh, or on your down in your downloads folder or wherever you saved it. So now, before we actually get into the AC chasing part, there's a really good software called iExplorer, which you can download free from Google, and this allows you to ACSH into your iPod Touch without having to have OpenSSL or any other uh, uh, any other SSH software. Now you would need to be jailbroken in order to access the uh, directories of iPhone uh, iPhone iDevices or the iDevices. So first of all, what you do is navigate to Google and type in iExplorer Mac download. This is the link I used and just download this for the Mac this is also for the PC so the same thing applies for both the operating systems download this it's a very small file it's only about uh, 2.3 megabytes or something once you're done you need to connect your iPod touch uh, to your computer I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and uh, just gonna connect that right there. Okay, just connected that. You can hear that voice right there. Now, as soon as you have connected your i device, go to i Explorer, and as you can see, you'll find your i device in that menu. Now, navigate to the root folder, private, var root and put your h1 siri.deb into this folder you can put it anywhere else anywhere else easy to navigate as far as this is in the private var section so it's easy for i file to navigate so you just have to drag and drop the file just drag and drop it right there and it'll automatically put it. it takes about five seconds to put the whole thing into the ipod touch once you have done that you can eject your iPod and you're good to go. I'll switch you back to my camera and show you how it's done.